When I was in Ireland race, you didn't get practice in them days. You got a thing, two warming up laps. But we was going round the course, and I used to borrow a push bike from any of the lads and give them a racing number after the race, you see. And any lads at all in the town, lots of the riders did. Yeah. And I stopped at this corner and I was watching it. And that. And line it up. And that there. And this fella come and said, you're racing, are you? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, he said, don't go in too late. He said on this, he said, don't go in too late. Since they built that house there, they took the corner wrong. They melted the corner. Because this house was built and the entrance come out right on the corner. He said, don't go in late. And that. Go in here and you clear or you'll hit that tree. And he was a fellow with a little goatee beard, ginger hair. And he's talking to him. I said to him, you race to you then? He said, you store, but don't you store. And the marshal said to me afterwards, he said, as a newcomer, he said, how did you know the corner on that thing? Were you talking to somebody about it? And I said, yes, I said, this ginger-headed fellow they used to race told me where to go in here. And what he, he said, he hit that tree and got killed, the fellow with the ginger hair hey, thing. He said, he hit that tree and got killed there, yeah. and he had ginger hair and a little goatee beard. And he said, a few riders have spoke to him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, that's incredible, isn't it? I know. Yeah. So, thing, I never thought anything, you know, when I was talking to him, yeah. just like me talking to you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that. That's, and yeah. people wouldn't believe that no. now, would they? they no. Just wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the marshal said a few would. You could tell who'd been talking to him because the first lap, mm. he had the corner right. You know, 